are electric vehicles falling short of consumer expectations? A recent study has shed some light on the challenges that automakers face in meeting the demands of people who intend to buy an EV. From charging times to price points, here's what you need to know. People who want to buy an EV want the following. 20-minute charging times, a 350-mile driving range, any $50,000 price tag. But are automakers delivering on that desire? Hey, welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. Today, a closer look at the EV market. Of those three criteria that people want, only one vehicle meets it, and it's not a Tesla. Here it is, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 SE rear-wheel drive long-range model, the sole contender in the EV game that ticks all three boxes. But why are other automakers keeping up with these requests? Quote, automakers are struggling to turn a profit on EVs. In fact, they're losing thousands of dollars on each sale. This according to Andrew Lowe, senior partner at Boston Consulting Group. The question he says is, can they sustain this? Different automakers have different approaches, obviously. Some are buying credits to meet regulations, while others are cutting production due to unforeseen issues. But with nearly 40% of consumers planning to purchase an EV, it's clear that the demand is there. That Boston Consulting Group estimates that automakers, or at least most automakers, lose around $6,000 on each EV they sell for 50 grand after accounting for customer tax credits. So yes, consumers want it all. Fast charging, long range, and affordability. Who doesn't? But can automakers deliver without breaking their bank? This according to Brian Colley, global leader at Boston Consulting Group. Partnerships and joint ventures are crucial for EV profitability. By sharing costs, automakers can scale up production and drive down prices. So I ask you, my friends, what does the future hold for EVs? While advancements in technology could make them more affordable, the challenges remain. Will automakers adjust to meet consumer demands or will hybrids, which I think, steal the spotlight? It wasn't that long ago. In fact, less than two years ago, Ford said that it wanted to eventually challenge Tesla in their EV sales. They have now since cut production of the electric F-150 Lightning pickup and halted shipments for an undisclosed issue. In fact, nearly 40% of 3,000 U.S. consumers surveyed by this Boston Consulting Group in January said they intended to buy an EV as their next vehicle, but they expressed strict requirements to make that jump, and those were the three criteria that we talked about. Many automakers projected 70% EV sales growth last year for 2023 based on sales nearly doubling annually from 2020 through 2022. That's what their hope was. Instead, EV sales growth has reached around 50% last year, a massive increase, but still below expectations. The dimmer reality does paint a picture of weakening EV demand. New EV registrations rose just 15% in January 2024, according to S&P Global Mobility. The Boston Consulting Group says, quote, this obviously caused a lot of consternation among our OEM clients who are pumping billions of dollars into these next generation vehicles. Automakers can close half of the cost gap with effective technology choices such as higher density batteries, more efficient electric motors, and better battery management software. They should also identify efficiencies in EV and internal combustion vehicle production, according to the Boston Consulting Group. Even with such improvements, they'd still lose around $3,000 on every $50,000 EV they sell. Support from policymakers and continued advancements of public charging infrastructures can help narrow that gap. So where do you fall in this group? Are those requirements that you are looking at when considering an EV? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, I'm Dave. Thanks for watching. Adios. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. 
A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Thank you.